Hello TEPL students and welcome to Finding Your Way Around Moodle Part 1. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics to navigating our main course page and the basics to navigating your TEPL course. Alright, let's get started. When you first go to your course page, you're going to be prompted to log in. The information for login is going to be sent to you by Student Affairs on the first day of your course. You're going to be asked to change your password on the first day as well. Upon login to the first navigation page, you're going to immediately see links to different resources offered by ITA. The top bar includes things such as our website, alumni networks, teaching abroad articles, links to purchase the book, a world country charts, and different ESL job boards. On the bottom of the page, you're also going to see links to our social media buttons. And on the very bottom of this page, you're going to see the two links to your two courses, your 150-hour TEFL certificate and your practicum course. You're also going to see a link here for live lectures and webinar reminders. This is where student affairs and instructors will post information about upcoming lectures and webinars. Now I want to take you inside our course. After you select your main course link, you'll be taken to the main course page where you can access all the tools and materials you need to complete your course. To get started, let's take a look at the navigation side on the left. From here, you can easily navigate yourself anywhere in your Moodle course. You can see site pages, view your profile, and easily read and access the different sections of your textbook and homework assignments. Underneath this, you're going to see all the information related to our alumni, getting involved, um, and different ways you can participate with ITA alum. Underneath the navigation page, you're going to find the administration block. Here is where you can check your grades and receive feedback from your instructor. You can also update your profile, edit your passwords, or edit your messaging settings. Now let's take a look at the right hand side of the main course page. First you'll see important contexts such as how to contact your instructor or student affairs. And finally you'll see the current time in Chicago, which is important because our entire course runs on Chicago time. And to end this lecture, we're going to take a look at the middle section. The first thing I want you to pay attention to is the course announcements at the top. Both student affairs and your instructors are going to post very important information in here, such as homework help for the next chapter, when we have live lectures, grading, etc. Please check this every week. Underneath this, you're going to see very important documents. Also, that's why we put them at the top that deal with the syllabus, the course calendar and context and, and frequently asked questions. Um, just like any other class, the syllabus has a very important function of point distribution, due dates, requirements, etc. Um, I recommend perhaps printing off that calendar or maybe having it as a screen saver. Likewise, the who to contact and the frequently asked questions documents are very useful. Underneath this, you're going to see forums, instructor forums, student to student forums, and chat and office hours. The instructor forum is a great place to ask questions for the whole class. The student to student forum hopefully gets you to interact with your peers and the office hours your instructors will tell you about each week. Under this, you have an important block on live lectures and webinars. Here you're going to find information on how to register to view those live lectures and webinars, a calendar of when they take place, and if you want to view those that you've missed, we record all of them and you can see them here. And finally, below the live lectures, you will find these video tutorials. Okay, we've come to the end of finding your way around Moodle part one. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video, part two.